Let me explain why I love the smartwatch from ATGTA. The battery life on this is real good. It's been five days since the last charge and the battery is still at 67% charge. There's a power saving mode should I need extra juice, but I have yet to enable that. For you Apple Watch fans, obviously it does look a little bit like an Apple Watch with the same kind of form factor. This one has a 1.8 inch high resolution scratch resistant touchscreen. The watch itself is relatively lightweight, doesn't feel cheap though. Um, and it's also a little bit thinner than an Apple Watch. The screen is nice and bright. You can adjust the brightness. It also has rise to wake if you're wearing the watch. So all you got to do is twist your wrist and it activates the screen. Or you can hit the button on the side and that brings up the screen and then it brings up the apps. And then you can just scroll to see all the apps. And I'm going to get into those in just a second here has a bunch of different watch faces. You can store three or four on the phone by holding the screen down and waiting for it. And then you can select your watch face. You can download a ton of different watch faces to the phone through the app. For 50 bucks, this is a no brainer for a kid who wants a Apple watch. You don't wanna spend that kind of money cause you're afraid they might break it. This is IP68 uh, sweat and water resistant. So as far as that goes, you don't have to worry about that, but it's only 50 bucks. So if they do wind up breaking it, you're not out a ton of money. You can get all your notifications through this watch, text messages, instant messages, emails, whatever kind of notifications you have enabled on your phone, you can get them through your watch. And as I said, for 50 bucks, this thing is jam packed with features. You have health monitoring, which is going to give you your heart rate, your blood oxygen and your sleep monitor, as well as a stress monitor. And ladies, you can also monitor your menstrual cycles. Never heard of that on a smartwatch before until this one. This also has a fitness monitor that's going to monitor your workout history. You can set your workouts in here as well as on the app, which I'll show you here in just a second. And then you have an activity monitor that's going to show you everything on one screen. So you got your steps. Let me see. I can zoom in here. You have your steps, your calories burnt, how many hours you've been active, your recovery time. You can change your goals. There's all kinds of stuff on here. Some of the other apps include Find My Phone, so if you misplace your phone and you have your watch on, you can tell the watch to alert your phone, and as long as it's in Bluetooth range, it's going to ring your phone so you can find it. If you want to use the watch to control your camera on your phone, you can do that as well. So you can take still pictures, you can also stop and start video recordings. The band is sweat resistant, kind of like a silicone rubber. It fits a number of sizes of wrists, all the way from a child to a full-grown adult. And it snaps in just like the Apple Watch bands do. I don't know if it's the same width, so you might want to check that before you decide to see if, it's, uh, if they're interchangeable. Obviously, it's a smartphone, so you can make and receive phone calls with it. And I gotta say, the call quality on this is way better than I was imagining it would be for 50 bucks. I can hear everybody nice and loud and clear, and they can hear me, and they don't even know I'm on a smartphone. I'll turn it over one more time so I can show you the um, monitor for the blood oxygen and the heart rate. It's right there. On the one that's on the Apple Watch and on my Samsung Watch, it's bulged out a little bit more than this. Um, and then at the top here, you have magnetic battery charging port. So the battery uh, charging cable just snaps in like that. There's nothing to plug in. It's real nice and easy. It also charges really fast. Um, I've had this as low as it's gone so far, I think about 50%. Um, and it's, it's tr fully charged in about 30 minutes. So real fast. So enough of that. Let's go into the app so I can show you some of those features. Okay, so the app is called VeryFit. Uh, it connects very quickly through Bluetooth. It's super simple to set up. Right here, uh, you have, I haven't been wearing the watch today, so it's just been counting the movements that I've been making by flipping it over and stuff. You have your step counter there. Total calories burn is zero, all that kind of stuff. You can edit that and put in your weight and age and all kinds of stuff. 
um, to view all your data. Um, the health trends, it's got a ton of stuff. I haven't even looked at everything. Um, if you want to look at your exercise, it's got a GPS to monitor your, uh, your route. If it's an indoor and outdoor run or walk, um, that's really cool. Um, here is where your watch face market is. Uh, shows me that the battery is 65% right now. And again, after five days, it's at 65%. That's really, really good. Um, different watch faces. I won't get into showing you all of them, but there's well over 100 to choose from. Um, you can set your alarm clock, your notification management, uh, enable or disable phone calls, um, your health tracking and your settings. And the one thing I forgot to mention was the Alexa. Alexa is built into the watch. So uh, if you have Amazon Music and you, uh, you can control what music you want to listen to through your watch um, just by using Alexa or Alexa Smart Home or any Alexa connected device you can control through the watch. Um, and then here, Pootie, that's my daughter. <laughs> um, but you can um, uh, do your uh, firmware updates. I'll get off of that. Oops. Firmware updates, uh, all your your formatting and your additional settings, and as well as getting a hold of customer service, um, which if you have any issues with the watch, that's what you want to do. So hope you guys like it.